Hi guys, we're having a pre wild camp pint in the Red Cow. Cheers. Hello again, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark, there's Simon, there's our nephew Chris, and today we're going to be triple peaks as Chris is joining us. And um, we just parked up in the Pont Comfort bin car park. And we're going to do a hike up to Fanabeeg. And we're going to be doing a wild camp today. Hopefully. So, yeah. Stay with us and um, see how this one goes. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can see tell you what guys we've been walking five minutes and these two are moving already all because I took him on a different route. Longer? Yeah, it's longer, yeah, but instead of going to the Nayav car park, we went to the Pont Confederate one, and then I brought him up this way, and we're heading up there because I thought it'd be a different route to um, the Nayav and the Roman road. It's just a change it up, really. And uh, bloody hell, what a moaning pair of gits. <laughs> anyway, I'll make a hiker out of them now. Right, let's make our way to Fanny Beeg. Just uh, stop for a water break. It's absolutely roasting. God, oh, sweat pouring off me. So we're gonna have a quick five minutes. Well, what a beautiful day, guys. It's gonna be in the mid 20s absolutely beautiful like I said earlier we're heading up to Van Abbey and it's tough going on a race so let's take our time and we'll get there when we get there beautiful view though all the usual suspects in the background a van concrete ribbon yeah so the ideal day for it water so good to be back out again, guys. Loving every minute of this. So's Chris. He's loving it as well. Is he? Oh, no. <laughs> Tired. 
I'm looking at Chris to tell you otherwise. I reckon this won't be his, his last uh, wild camp. Yeah. I reckon it might. <laughs> we we'll rename the channel Triple Peaks. Another another water break. Really hot today. There's our nephew Chris. He's struggling a little bit. He's not used to this, he's not. He's used to sitting on his leather set he watching Sky Sports News. You know. <laughs> but he'll get up there, I'll drag him up, don't worry. No, we're gonna carry him. <laughs> we're gonna carry him, eh? Got a it's not far to go now, Chris. It's just up there. That path. Yeah, that's like freaking ten miles. And up there. Job done. But we can get the tents up and enjoy it all night. A few beers, nice chicken curry, rice and uh, naan bread. Yeah, looking forward to it. Right, another couple of minutes and we'll make our way back up. Now with a brown sauce. Yeah. Who has a bacon sandwich without the brown sauce? Yeah. Muggins here got the bacon, naan breads, wraps, rice. Uh, what else did I get? We Everything. Brown sauce, did you? And they're having a go at me for not bringing the brown sauce. And it has to be HP brown sauce, but he forgot it. So I'll do everything next time. Like normal. So this bread is going to be dry as hell. Okay, I'll eat that. I'm starving. Sorry, I'll just float the bacon in grease. That'll be alright, will I? save a bit of curry tonight. Curry <laughs> bacon sandwich. Anyway. Yep. Let's crack on, is it? Yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. Right then, guys. Just come to the junction. Behind me, oh, we've come from the Gap Road down there. We've come to the junction of Cribbin and Vanabeek. Cribbin's up that way, and Vanabeek is up there. So we're gonna have a short break and make our way up to the top. Just been up to the summit of uh, Vanabeek. I dropped off my bag. But um, I'm going back down to see my nephew Chris because he's struggling coming up here. Yeah? Pass him. So um, I'm gonna go and get his bag off him. And I'll bring his bag up so he can carry, he can just, just walk up alongside me then. Should be a, little, a bit easier for him. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a tough one, this. There again, none of the um, hills and mountains and that big bizarre he's climbing anyway, so I'll go and get, get man get his bag. Welcome back, guys. We finally made it to the top of Vanabeek. And this is home for the night. Check that out. 
see a drop down there. There's a famous diving board. Where they, where they all have their pictures taken. Selfies. Chris is on the bird. And I reckon we're gonna set up over there, see the um, little stone uh, shelter there. It's a bit of a windbreak. So we're thinking of setting up a tent over there and we've got somewhere to cook. So we'll be able to bring you back when we put the tents up. for the night. All the tents are set up. Simon's using his Fell Raven Abisco Light 2. Chris has got his brand new Van, Van Gogh Banshee Pro 200. And I'm using the tent I used last week on my solo camp. The Van Gogh Nevis 200. Yeah, so a pretty nice spot, all pretty fairly level. And behind the tents we got this stone uh, shelter, so we're going to set up the uh, alcohol stove now and get some curry on a go. Right, we got chicken curry on a go now. On my um, alcohol stove. What's that pan, Chris? This is homemade chicken curry. What, that, what Chris made. Bad, I've been told it's a bit, um, a bit, bit, uh, bit warm. So anyway, we're going to cook, cook some rice as well. I'm on rice duty. We got basmati rice, and we're going to. Somehow cook that on the jet boil. A couple of spoonfuls of water. Yes, yeah, so we're cooking in this little shelter. Got a light up, Chris. That's it, Ideal. Curry's burbing away. Beautiful. Little tip here for you guys microwave basmati rice, two packets. All you do, put it in a frying pan, a couple of teaspoonfuls of water, and then you can fry that like normal rice. So you're not carrying gallons of water around, you know, boiling a bag, whatever. And uh, here's Chris's homemade curry, chicken curry. And we've got some naan breads as well, I'm going to put them on the fire. Just toast them quickly on the, the stove, and we're done. Good to go. A nice but a can of piston head lager. I'm not sure you can see. It. Smells lovely. Yeah. Is it hot, Mark? Like honey? Yeah, it's done. It's too hot for you. Spicy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lovely. We're in, this, we're in this bunker here, yeah, like this little shelter, then. Uh, and that's the view for tonight. Lovely. And here we have it. Basmati rice with, curry, with cut chicken curry. Nan breads on the grill. Or on the cooker, rather. Beautiful. Anybody want some more of this? No, I'm lying. I like how dining on the top of a banner beef. Looks good. Chris, see that. No. Ah. Hey guys, welcome back. We've had our curry in a hurry and we're um, chilling out now. A couple of cans of Herefordshire fire water. 
bit of Craig Charles on Radio 6. Beautiful sunset, which I'm going to get a time lapse of as a GoPro setup. So, all in all, wicked nice. Absolutely fantastic. Welcome back to the camp. We've just been joined by two fellow campers. I think you can call them the uh, pop-up tent brigade. We thought we had this mountain or hill even to ourselves, but uh, not to be, sadly. It's a lovely night. It's gone a little bit, tiny little bit chilly, but um, it's lovely up here. Panning round now. We have a nice sunset now. Over the three peaks of Condé to the left. Penavan slap bang in the middle. And Cribbin to the right. Awesome. And this is why we do it, because they views. We're all chilled out here now. What radio station is that? Radio 6. Radio 6, Craig Charles, I think. Will we get a copyright strike playing it? Oh. Chris having a snout. Yeah. You want to pack them in, Pat? Don't get all blim holes in my jacket. Well, I don't know where all the sheep are gone. They must know Mark was coming here. Because all the sheep are buggered off. It's no wonder the sheep buggered off. you got Max Wall trousers on. Anyone remember him? <laughs> no, I'm too young. <laughs> Mm. You've all gone. It's not one year. Without further ado, I've got a couple of uh, shout oh, well, three shout outs to uh, announce on this uh, video. And the first one is to a fellow YouTuber from South Wales. He is called T uh, Taff Wildman of the Woods. So, uh, check out his channel, have a look at his vids, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Um, second one is another another fellow YouTuber, it's CampingDan85, give him a follow and, uh, and uh, check his uh, channel out, good videos, um, worth a look. Third one is Mooster Outdoors. Now this guy, uh, I like him, he's, he's quite funny, so uh, very enthusiastic about uh, wild camping, etc. So uh, check his uh, YouTube channel out, and what I'll do, I'll put a link for the three channels I mentioned, and uh, feel free to give me a bit of support and uh, a bit of love. Welcome back guys, still chilling out, a few more um, cans of Herefordshire fire water, there's Chris and Simon, yeah, great night this, views are immense, still on Vanna Beeg. Full of change, it's not that windy. Fanny, Fanny, 
Fanny Big, Fanny, Fanny Big. Love again. Being Simon. Still having a couple of cans. Listening to Smooth, Smooth Extra on the radio. And. Ah, hang on. Oh, my nephew Chris has gone to bed. You hear that? He's snoring. Oh, look. He's really struggled at this, um, on this height today. Like I said earlier, he's only got one lung, and um, he's had a bit of a dog's life over the years, loads of operations and all that. But I tell you what, he's done well today. He made it up here, so fair to use of him. Yeah, he's done it, so yeah, over the moon for him. But he's in bed now. And he's snoring away like a, like a good one. So we're going to have another couple of cans and call her a night. And we'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Oh. Morning guys. It's about 6 o'clock. I just woke up. Gotta be fair, I had a wicked night's sleep. I'm gonna have a look outside. <sighs> oh, check this out. Misty. Cloudy. Chris is still snoring. I thought we were going to wake up to blazing sunshine. <sighs> I think I'm going to have another hour. See you in a bit. Just come out for a bit of a walk around. Well, a pee really. And what a difference a day makes. There's a tent. And it's just missed. I'm sure that'll burn off later. It's not so how things can change. Can't yeah, see a thing. Anyway, morning. Welcome back. It's coffee time. Jack boils are boiling, and we're having Taylor's, Taylor's rich Italian. Have I shown you my cup cozy? I think I have. I like it. Yeah. The only thing is. We went on a camp with um, Dolly from Wild and Camping with a Dragon and I stuck down my alcohol stove I put my cup cosy back on and it's fused to the metal I can't get it off 
can't get it off. <laughs> no, it's stuck. It's stuck to the car. <laughs> so there's a little tip for you. Don't put your cup cosy back on when it's boiling off. <laughs> I think it's a bit of an Amazon camera. Anyway, let's have a cup of coffee. I'll bring you back when we've got the bacon on the go. We have company. A couple of my furry friends. Their team. They normally leg it. Go on, so I'm going to lift the tail up. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, I've got my wellies on. <laughs> come on, come and have a kip in the tent. Simon will be in now. You won't fit in my tent. <laughs> Bacon's practically done. We've got some wraps, we've got some bacon wraps for breakfast. Looking good. <coughs> Bacon wrap. Beautiful. With brown sauce. With no brown sauce. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. We've all packed up now. Leave no trace as usual. We're gonna make our way back down. See you in a bit. Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the fields. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know. Something about you and me I'll stay here for as long as I can Through the storms and through the calm When you smile at me I slowly begin To realize that you are the one I just want to say a couple of words about uh, the leave no trace policy. Um, very important, we all, you know, we clear that stuff, rub any rubbish away after we finish camping. Um, I've heard like things on the press now, like reports of, um, they call it fly camping. People actually like turning up in beauty spots, car parks, uh, things like that. I just leaving that rubbish behind, tents, equipment, and it's given all, that's what, you know, legit um, wild camp is a bad name, but um, I think that's going to stop pretty, pretty sharp, because it, it seems like you get out of hand now, but yeah, so it's leaving no trace, just basically leave it, how you, how you found it, don't interfere with the uh, wildlife, make sure all uh, the rubbish is taken away, and your equipment, and uh, have no fires. We don't have no fires, um, and that's basically it. So, I think if everyone sticks to the same guidelines, we'll have uh, be a better experience all around. Because the way it's going, I think they'll be clamping down on um, wild camping. Which is a shame, like you know, because people are just abusing it and uh, just causing a mess, really. So it's not on, like you know. Uh, that's my two P's worth. Hi guys, welcome back. On our way back to the car park now, and that brings to an end of um, Chris's first wild camp. I'm sure it won't be the last. We'll take him up snow the next time. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.